Now, on this video, we are trying to find the values of R and alpha. And in order to do this, looking at the question, it tells us to write the following trigonometric expression in the form of R cos theta plus alpha, where both R and alpha are constants. Now, in order to do this, the easiest way to tackle this is to firstly realize that we can equate and we should notice that 5 cos alpha minus 2 sine theta is identical identical to the R expression. That is, we can say let 5 cos theta minus 2 sine theta be identical to, and then all we have to do is expand the cos alpha plus cos theta plus alpha expression into the full angle equation or the double angle. So it should be known, it, should, it can be written as R bracket cos theta times cos alpha minus sine theta times sine alpha. And now from here we just simply going to equate the coefficients. So notice on the left side we have a cos theta on both and we have a sine theta on both. So letting, so in terms of cos theta we can say 5 cos theta equals r cos theta times cos alpha. Cancel down the cos theta should give us r cos alpha equals 5. Likewise we repeat the same process for sine because they both have negative we can, we can ignore that and say 2 sine theta on the left hand side equals r sine theta times r sine alpha on the right hand side. Once again, eliminating the sine theta should leave us with r sine alpha equals 2. Alright, now, at this stage we need to figure out how to find um, r and alpha. So, one cool technique we could use is a nice trigonometric um, identity. We know that firstly, sine over cos equals tan. And if we do r sine alpha over r cos alpha, we can easily cancelled on R, so we'll be left with exactly tan, and this is of course equal to 2 over 5 from both equations. And all you have to do simply is now make sure your calculus and radians end simply tan inverse 2 over 5, and that should give you 0 0.381 radians. That's it. Now as for R, how to do R? So since so actually, for all, all we can do is use a we can use them um, two ways, but in this case, we're going to use the, a trigonometric identity. First things first, we should know off the bat, by now at least, that sine squared alpha plus cos squared would always equal 1, at least if they're both alphas. So therefore, since we know that cos alpha equals 5 over r and sine alpha equals 2 over r, we know that this full expression can work. So just literally popping in the values, so we have sine squared alpha, which is literally 2 over r all squared, it gives us 4 over r squared, plus cos squared alpha, which is just squaring 5 over r, which is 25 over r squared. And all of that equals 1. And that's it, guys. Now we just add up the, um, the fractions. This should give us 29 over r squared equals 1. And then, therefore, we should get r squared equals 29. And hence, r equals plus minus root 29. And if you remember from the question, it tells us that r has to be positive. So therefore, the only positive answer is r equals root 29. That's it.